So in this uh, lecture, we are going to discuss about bijective functions. So let f from a to b be a function then this function f is uh, set to be bijective if the given function is 1 1 and on 2 both okay then we will call this function to be a bijective function okay what is an example of a function which is both 1 1 and on 2 so let us take one simple example f is from real numbers to real numbers and i'm going to define the f, the function f by f of x is equal to x cube okay the graph of this particular function turns out to be like this So it passes through the origin. Okay, so this is the graph of the function f of x equal to x cube. Okay, this function is uh, clearly 1, 1. Why is this function 1, 1? Because f of x equal to f of y, when we have to show that the function is 1, 1, we use this technique. f of x equal to f of y means x cube is equal to y cube. And then when I take the cube roots of uh, on both the sides, what will I get? I will, the cube root of x is x, x cube is x and cube root of y cube is y. So this means that the given function f is what? f is a 1, 1 function. In the picture also, you can see that if you draw a horizontal line passing through the function, that horizontal line cuts the graph exactly at one point. So in this case, this function is what? This function is a 1, 1 function. In the second part, uh, we have to show that f is on to so that is also very clear if i take any beta here suppose i take a beta which is in the codomain then we can always find its pre-image and that pre-image is what that pre-image is alpha and who is this alpha that we will found uh, that we will find so let beta belong to the real numbers which is the codomain okay and then what is an alpha to find alpha, we have to find that alpha, right? To find alpha belonging to real numbers, which is your domain, such that f of alpha is equal to how much? f of alpha is beta. What is f of alpha? f of alpha is alpha cube is equal to beta. And in this case, the value of alpha, when I take cube roots on both the sides, the value of alpha will come up to be how much it will come up to be cube root of beta so we could find the value of alpha given the value of beta so this means that the given function f is which type of function f is a onto function and therefore we now declare that this f which is f of x equal to x cube is a is which type of function is a bijective function okay we have uh, we can even uh, check this function suppose i give you another example of a bijective function so f is from r to r and i'm going to define the function fx is equal to say i'm going to have 2x plus 4 okay is this function a bijective function is f bijective so we will have to check whether this function is a 1 1 and on to function both right so it is clearly 1, 1 function. Now, why is it 1, 1? So let me consider f of x equal to f of y. And therefore, I will get what? 2x plus 4 is equal to 2y plus 4. So the 4 will cancel from both the sides. Okay. And then I'm left with only what? Then I'm left with only two uh, terms, which is 2x and 2y. And then this 2 and 2 will also cancel each other and I will get x is equal to how much x is equal to y and therefore this function will clearly become what the function f is a 1 1 function right and uh, why is it on to function okay what is the graph of this function the graph of this of the function y equal to 2x plus 4 this is a line 
which is uh, passing through the point 0 comma 4 okay so this is y equal to 2x plus 4 okay so clearly when i draw a horizontal line this horizontal line cuts the graph exactly once so the function is clearly 1 1 and if you draw any horizontal line through the co domain it is always cut it is always cutting my graph so this means that the given function is a onto function also so how will i check the function is onto mathematically i must justify this okay that f is onto okay so let beta if you take any beta over uh, in this on this picture in this picture if i show you if you take any any beta on the y axis you must be able to find the pre image and that pre image is this alpha okay and we will now find what is the expression for this alpha so let beta belong to the real line let beta belong to r that is this real line means beta is in the co-domain set okay real numbers means y-axis then i want to find an alpha which is in the domain set real line is also real domain is also real line okay such that that alpha and beta should property satisfy the property f of alpha is equal to how much f of alpha is equal to beta and therefore what is f of alpha f of alpha is 2 alpha plus 4 because f of x is 2x plus 4 so f of alpha will become 2 alpha plus 4 is equal to beta and therefore the value of alpha that i want to find will be beta minus 4 and therefore alpha will become how much alpha will become beta minus 4 upon 2 so we can find the value of alpha once the value of beta is given suppose the value of beta is 5 then what will be the value of alpha then you just have to use this formula if beta is 5 what will be the value of alpha it will be 5 minus 4 upon 2 means the value of alpha will be how much the value of alpha will be 1 upon 2 so in the picture when this line is passing through through this point suppose i am asking what is the pre image of 5 so who is the value of beta here beta is 5 the pre image of 5 when i drop the perpendicular on the x axis as i am showing you in the graph this this is the function y equal to 2x plus 4 or 4 fx is equal to 2x plus 4 okay who is this value of alpha i will just put the value of alpha in this formula i will get 5 minus 4 upon 2 so i will get the value of alpha is how much the value of alpha is half so the pre-image of beta is equal to how much the pre-image of beta is half so in so this formula can be used to find the pre-image of any value on the y-axis